all you wonderful people. Welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Megan. I was a substitute teacher last year and I'm kind of going to be a sub this year. So exciting news, I did get the tutor position. Now remember that this tutor position actually means support staff, so it's not really like a tutor, but um, so to put it into perspective, if I'm going to put it on my resume i'm going to put title one reading readiness teacher or tutor so that's probably what i would put it under so basically those people who come into the classroom and take out a small group and help those kids work on specific skills to become better readers or better in math that would be me so because it's a title one school they can pay extra money in order for the school to hire people to come in and do these kinds of jobs usually it's the teacher's job to differentiate in the classroom and make sure all the kids are getting their needs met and we're kind of able to help support that as well so i did get that today is friday so this is going up on friday the day that i'm making this and um, yeah, I started on Monday because I had my interview, <laughs> which is crazy. I feel like this week has been so incredibly long, but I had my interview last Tuesday, I believe, and I was basically told I was hired on Wednesday, got the paperwork and stuff, background check on Thursday, filled out some of the paperwork on Friday, um, and then Monday came around. I went to HR, got my picture taken for my badge, and brought in my passport for my I-9 form, and here I am. I'm a tutor, guys. So I started on Monday, right after I got done at HR, and to be honest, the first two days I was already thinking about, like, the fact that I felt stuck, and I was worried that, like, this wasn't exactly what I thought it was going to be. So right now they're doing a lot of testing. It's only the second week of school. So they have to go through all the testing with all the students so that they can place them into the groups that us as tutors are going to be teaching. And each tutor will get a different level group from each grade level. So they have to do all this testing and we are helping out kindergarten and kindergarten takes forever to test which is crazy that they're testing kindergartners first off <laughs> i think and yeah and some of the stuff that these kindergartners have to do on this test is just blows my mind it's insane bird wants a friend who can sing frog can you sing? No. Okay, so now I'm going to read what the bird says and you get to read what Snell says. Snell, can you sing? No, I can't. No, no, just no. But yeah, so we have to help out like one classroom over two or three days. It's wild. So we've been really cranking those out. Um, I think... The other thing is like at the end of the day it kind of goes a little bit slow because we get done at lunch at 1 30 and then we usually help a class and that usually lasts until like 2 o'clock 2 15 well we don't leave until 3 15. so also a little background especially if you didn't watch the last video this position i chose because or i applied to because i just wanted to see if there was anything else or whatever um, so some of the downsides though is I'm not making or I'm not going to be making as much as I would substitute teaching so I am supplementing that with other care jobs with children but I'll talk about that another time but anyways so I get I'm going to get paid $16.72 per hour and I work five point it's like seven two or seven five hours a day so we're really close to six hours but we don't have that and yeah um, so I'm not making as much as I would substitute teaching but 
you know, I guess it is what it is. I was fortunate to be working with some, or I am fortunate to be working with some really awesome, awesome people. And these, I think these last two days, today and yesterday, have gone a lot better. I was able to actually do more of my job. It wasn't so much of the training. Training always kind of sucks. So that part has been a lot better. My, um, I want to put this as politically correct as I can just in case, but the lady who supervises us is very busy and gets kind of frazzled sometimes and doesn't always do things, like talk to you or speak to you in the kindest way. So that's kind of freaking me out a little bit. Number one, because I kind of don't put up with that crap. <laughs> um, but I'm also like on the flip side, I'm also kind of nice, like too nice. So I would never like say anything back, but also I would. And I'd also be kind of like, I don't know. So I'm a little bit nervous about that. Um, I've never had a supervisor or boss like this. So it freaks me out a lot to have to deal with that, I guess. So yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think it's gonna be going pretty good. I've still considered maybe looking into a different career, but I wanna still give it a shot. And God, I love these kids so much. They make my heart so incredibly happy. And yeah. Um, so I just wanted to let you guys know that I got the job and all of this and I want to make a separate video about doing like babysitting slash nannying slash like other care jobs in a separate video just to tell you guys like what I think um, and kind of how that's supplementing some extra money on top of my current job. So I will be making a video about that really really soon so stay tuned. Um, and yeah, I'm going to end here, but I hope you guys had a fabulous week and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.